He scored in comma three. Now the star of the show, our first glimpse at Elena Piskun, a 17-year-old from Belarusia. And this is worth seeing. A round of entry. Full twist layout with a very good landing. Beautifully landed the 1993 Vault World Champion, a title which she achieved in Birmingham two years ago. Elena keeps her body very tight in the on-flight into the horse and controls this vault very well. Good landing, uses the softest of the mats to control it. And a high score of 9,65 for her first vault. That'll catapult her into first place. I expect to see a double twist in this vault. Let's see what she does. Round off. Only a single twist. She played it safe, did Elena Piskun, but still a very tidy vault. The judges will score that very high. This is an excellent vault, and this lady is capable of even more. Good block, very tight body. And the shoulders were absolutely upright on landing. Well, the crowd have been thrilled with what they've seen so far from her. 9,70. Her mark for a second vault, slightly higher than her first. Now Jenny Cox from Great Britain. Just 14 years old, the youngest and the smallest competitor in the field. Jenny prepares herself at her starting spot for vault. Good strong run. Handspring front somersault. Slight loss of control at the end. She did well to control that landing though. Could have been far worse for her. Jenny has a good heel drive as she gets up onto the horse. Fast front somersault, but a bit of loss of control there. Slightly over-rotated that first bolt. She'll score 9,25. Presenting to the judges, Jenny prepares herself. She builds up her speed. Good strong entry and a small step to the side. Similar vault from Jenny Cox. The handspring front is a blind landing and Jenny controls it quite well. She looks anxiously at her mark. She need not worry. 9,30 for Jenny Cox. That's a wonderful score. Although it won't secure her medal on this piece of apparatus. The vault scores have been consistently high. Very good scores from Piskun, 9,7. Joan West doing well in second place. Elena Savko, a late replacement for the Australians who pulled out. She's third. Jenny Cox in fourth. Now moving on to the bar routine. Elena Savko. Concentrating on her mount. Tuck over the low bar. Good strong cast, a slip grip front giant into her back straddle, followed immediately by a stalder. Nice front giant into Viega. Little loss of control there. Building up her speed into the double tuck. Very good landing. Beautifully landed Elena Savko. Her coach Viktor Komutov is not out with her on this trip to South Africa. And she's assisted by Piskun's coach, Valerie Kolodinsky. Building up the speed into her giants here. Good stretch over the low bar to facilitate the height that she gets in that double back tuck somersault. Sefko looking pleased with herself, and well she might. 9,30. That's a good score. South Africa's Joanne West, second all around in the African Championships last year. Joanne has quite a long run into her mount. Tuck over the low bar. Good strong backup prize. Into the Ginga. Quite well controlled, slight bending of the arms. Interesting bar change movement. Clear circle to handstand half turn with a straddle kip. 
Cheyenne's not hitting her handstands every time, but she's controlling it well. Good length, good dismount, rather a large step on landing. She always looks confident, does Cheyenne West, although just 15 years of age. It's a clear circle to handstand. She bends her arms fractionally in that. Giant circle to place her feet on the bar into the soul circle front with a big step on landing unfortunately. Giant West looking pensive but 9,35 sufficient to take her above Elena Savko. Look out for a spectacular series of four elements. Giant with a full turn hop. Giant full turn hop. Into the Delchef and a shoot over the low bar. Elena builds up her speed for her dismount here. Layout double back. Lovely bar exercise. You can't fail to marvel at that. The crowd appreciated. It's gymnastics of the highest quality from Elena Piskun on a favorite piece of apparatus. I look back at the routine, spectacular links and combinations here, which will score her plenty of marks in bonus and will help to upgrade the difficulty of the routine. A handstand into a giant. She prepares now for her dismount. Very compact, very neat in flight. And Elena scores 9,70, and she doesn't even give a smile. Well, it just shows you the professionalism of this young gymnast. Elena Piskun, 9,70. Joanne West in second place on the uneven bars. Elena Savko, third. Heidi Uestazen having a good routine. And overall, Piskun's lead increases ominously for the rest of the field. 19,40. Joanne West doing well to retain second place. Savko third. Jenny Cox hanging in there in fourth place. Moving on to the beam and national champion and current African champion, Heidi Marie Westhazen. Heidi with a round off onto the board. Bad loss of balance there on the mount. Flick flack layout and a slight hesitation into the next flick flack. The required full turn on the beam. Here comes her leap series, a requirement, quite well executed. Heidi is a very confident beam worker. Missed her connection there and added in an extra jump to get her mixed requirement. Preparing for her dismount, round off, double twist, and a good landing. Not the best beam routine that Heidi has ever produced, but a couple of good moves and places where she would have picked up bonus. This is the apparatus which she won last year at the African Championships. We see her dismount again here, double twist. She lands up nice and straight and just takes a hop. 8,975 for Heidi. She'll be a little disappointed, but might still pick up a medal on this piece of apparatus. Now Elena Piskun on the beam. Far ahead of the rest of the field. She'll be looking to consolidate that lead. Punch front onto the beam.
two controlled flick flaps and a flick flap with a full twist on the beam. Now watch out for the spectacular flick flap full twisting somersault. Let's see how she lands it. Well landed, just a little loss of balance, one leg lifting up. She is very controlled and confident on the beam. Lovely straddle jump, but unfortunate loss of balance. Good strong jumps. And preparing for her dismount here. Double back pike, slight hop on landing. Poetry in motion from the girl from Bobrusk who regards South Africa as her favorite country in the world. She'd love to live here. It's her second trip out here. She's enjoying herself. The skill is not performed very often. And although the slight lift in the leg, she controls it quite well. Heidi and Elena, the best of friends, all smiles as Piskun waits for a mark. And it's a good one, 9,60, and that will help to catapult her far ahead of the rest of the field. Already this lead is looking ominous, and it's growing all the time. And now to the young British girl, Jenny Cox, on the beam. Pressing into a handstand. Showing strength in that plunge, but it could have been a little bit deeper. Jenny has lovely fluid movements on the beam. Watch her punch front, well landed. And her acrobatic series, flick flack layout, really good landing. Showing flexibility with that scale. Some nice linking arm movements. Flick flex split jump for her mixed series. Switch leap, Cossack jump, unfortunate loss of balance there. Preparing it for a series into the dismount. Flick, flack, flick, flack, double twist, and a step on the landing. Despite her slender age, she shows terrific poise and grace and a lot of self-confidence. This young 14-year-old from Buckinghamshire. Flick, flick, into the layout, step out. Excellently landed. Jenny scores 9,175, giving her a chance at her first apparatus medal. <laughs> Elena Piscu.